Name is uh, Jeffrey Feinerman. I am 67 years old. We were blessed with our twin daughters, Haley and Rachel. Their second year in high school is when I was originally diagnosed with advanced stage prostate cancer. We hugged a lot and cried a lot and um, gave the information to Karen. So it was very, very, very emotional. It's vitally important for California legislators to protect innovation and continue to be an advocate for patients and make sure that these new technologies continue to produce the successful events that they have for me. It's worth it, it saves lives, and it's vitally important that the California legislators protect the California biomedical sector. You can't put a value to curing somebody from potential death. Most of these new medications and technologies are very expensive. The value is saving a life. In my case, it's saving my life, and many others like myself, it would be. The issue is having access. We're very fortunate, but had we not had access, again, through a good insurance policy, and had not been able to financially afford it, um, I wouldn't be here today. If I had an opportunity to speak to the California legislators, I would beg them to continue to support the technology, the innovation, and to protect this sector. It is so important to continue. Uh, that's the reason I'm here today. I'm alive today because of the technologies that have really been provided by uh, this sector. Watching your loved one go through something like this is, is heartbreaking. To see the, the research and development that comes out, it's, it's just priceless to be able to have that um, and to see him improve and to see that that, um, that, that treatment works and, and to also know that even if this doesn't, the next thing is right around the corner and that there's still new technologies and new treatments that are coming through and you know continue to support that that innovation here in California. Here I am it's like America I feel great walk three to five miles a day lift weights uh, very active so I think in that regard um, I'm very very thankful.